Okay. <laughs> so um, Cheryl has a flag and we'll just start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, sorry, I was running a little late and didn't have my agenda up. But I don't think we have a whole lot to discuss. Um, Cheryl, I think we'll start with, um, well, is there, there's no one in the waiting room, right? So there's no public comment. I don't think there's any public comment. Uh, I think we have two minutes that we need to approve the last two meetings. Um, has everyone had a chance to review those? They were sent out along with our invite. Um, we'll need a motion to approve those minutes, and then somebody needs to second. So the only minutes you have to approve are December 20 from 2023. You approve the September ones. Perfect. I'll move to approve. I'll second. All right. Everyone in favor? Aye. <laughs> Anyone opposed or abstentions? Okay. They're approved. <laughs> um, I have the wrong agenda in front of me. Here we are. So, did, was there a written report this time, Cheryl? Yes, I had emailed it and gave to Barb. Um, Do you want me to? You, yeah, if you want to just summarize that real quick, give us the highlights, and then we can ask anybody who has questions. They feel okay. free to. Okay, um, highlights and low lights. Um, yeah, so on February February 1st, there was a strong order of oil in the building. <laughs> and um, I let Dimitri know and he had a contract to come out and mitigate the situation. And I had also noticed there was a leak from the water heater. And so the town quickly was on that as well and had that replaced. Um, the, there's still a little bit of oil smell, so but it's not as bad as it was. The, problems fixed it was just that when they filled the oil tank they overfilled it so um so the arpa funded projects are complete and there is leftover money um it came out during so this afternoon was the board of finance hearing and the um, funds that were not expended need to go back to the town for reappropriation um i understand that that's um a legality as far as our funding goes to that it just can't go to the same entity that it was awarded to it has to go back to the town for them to decide whether it's going to um help pay for the projects on the list or um have to go to other projects um however i think we're i was we're going to try to get those other projects done sooner than later especially the cement landing at the base of the ramp because that should have been done. So um, it's really, and I don't think I put that in my report. I did not. So, but we think those are, um, have priority over some, yeah, priority for us. So that's that. Um, so then uh, the five-year capital plan. So it was not, sorry, my phone, I still have a landline. So um, it's spam. Anyway. Um, I don't even know if you can hear that. All right. So the um, five-year capital plan, um, it was not bonded um, because it didn't meet the threshold really for bonding. Um, and the project couldn't get completed by August to be included in the um, the upcoming, in the, in the current budget. So um, as it will go, the Board of Finance did, um, Oh my God. I'm sorry. I just got it. Oh my God. Spam. And I can't even get rid of it. Why is this happening? One second. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, 
like I was saying, yeah. So, so Georgia Strata uh, presumably is going to go um, back to the Board of Finance and see if that twenty-five thousand dollars can be um, included in a supplemental funding for the design project of the building. Um, that um, we've had. Um, so Hankel's coming again in May to do a project. M and T possibly. Um, actually, recently I was just in touch with Amazon, and they might be coming to do volunteering. Goodwill's going to come back. We might be doing something with the Kennedy Collective as well during the summer, have them watering and weeding the gardens. Um, but yeah, we're going to be at the library. There's a big volunteer program at the library to have volunteer organizations come and uh, talk about what we do and try to recruit. So we'll we'll be at that in April. Also, not in the port, we're going to be at Madison Middle School for their like health fair program for all the kids. Um, we're going to be talking about tick safety and outdoor safety, things like that. Uh, fundraising, yeah, we're waiting to hear back from a lot of, uh, we, we applied for um, grant funding from several different um, organizations and we're waiting. So we should be hearing back from a significant number of them in April. Um, yeah, so we it's been a full year of environmental programs. Um, for Trumbull students, I was like, between 1,500 and 1,700 impressions for um, El Trumbull Elementary School students. Um, and then seasonal programs, you saw our flyer is, is up there. Um, our um, business intern, um, Aya Otorova, she's graduating this year. She's gonna be going to Cornell. So and she said that TNAC, her work with TNAC has been very instrumental in uh, getting her into Cornell, which we're very happy about. And we're now in, in, in the process of interviewing two more in terms for the upcoming, um, yeah, uh, that's it. Any questions? Very cool. Does anybody have any questions? No? Okay. <laughs> um, these meetings tend to go very quickly. Yeah. Uh, the, um, uh, The other thing I had on the agenda was the grounds, but I think you covered most of that just, just now. Um, is there anything? Yeah, what I could talk about there is, um, so we have deep funding, um, which uh, needs to be expended by June 30th of this year. And we're going to be doing further um, mitigation on the property, trying to get rid of the invasives, um, including the tree of heaven, which is the host plant for the spotted lantern fly. There's a whole stand of that there um, to the right of the building that we'd like to um, get rid of. So that is in process. So um, yeah, just continuing to maintain the property. How much money is, is that, the deep funding? Uh, that is the remain well allocated for in that budget is around four thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah, and that may include planting as well. Um, yeah. That was just a portion um, of the grant that we received. Cool. Any sense on the timing of that removal of that plant? Is that yeah, by the end of June is our whole by the end yeah. of June. When yeah. when does it typically start to grow? That's a good question. It's hard to tell because they, they're the parent trees and they have runners that shoot out. And so I think yeah. they just constantly yeah. are growing. So, I mean, I'm not the expert on that. I just know in the conversations that we had that it should, it's going to be done this spring. Like, I think before it, you know, to mitigate it um, sprouting more to just get it as soon as possible. Yeah, no, I we walked the property with the TNAC building committee and I saw that plant. And so I, I really that's a I really applaud you getting rid of that tree. So Yeah, uh, there's well, there's a whole stand of them over to the yeah. right of the building. And then the um the cement landing yeah. for the um sorry, for the handicap ramp. Mm -hmm. How is that going to be taken care of? 
You, so that's up to the town. I told the okay. town about it and I mentioned it for to be included in that uh, supplemental funding, but you know, it's I haven't heard back. I made a so. suggestion to yeah. write an email directed towards Vicky's office and then George Estrada as well, if that would be helpful to outline, especially the landing to the ramp, since that was outlined, outlined in the ARPA funding, it should be in my mind included. Um, and then if there's other items important to uh, patrons to, to include that as well in the idea and hope that we'd be able to spend that money before the next fiscal year. Surely the, the completion of the, the ramp project should be addressed before July one. Yeah, that that <clears throat> seems to me to be. You, you can't really build a, a ramp like that without having a landing at the bottom. So it seems like it's part of the same project. Yeah, and ideally, uh, when do the spring field trips start, Cheryl? May. Okay, so I mean, the, well, we've the, all we've already had actually. I mean, but the bulk of them of them is May. Yeah. So it's ongoing with the bulk of them happening in May. Okay. Well. Well, let's maybe Jack, we, the two of us can work with Cheryl to muscle yeah. uh, a meet, uh, an email to go out to Vicki's office. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I wish you get that out soon. Yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of old business, we just talked about the ARPA funding. So all those, the, the three main projects have been complete with the exception of finishing this ramp. Um, so that's all good news. Um, and then um, do we have any new business? No? <laughs> Anything that we need to be aware of, Cheryl, or any concerns? Um. No, I mean, there's people come to us with ideas that we vet on our own. And then if we feel it's necessary, we bring it to the commission. So um, nothing that to speak of at the moment. Yeah, nothing that's at no actionable items. On it. Okay. Um, and then I guess it's just a matter of talking about um, when we're going to meet again. I am um, I'm out of town next week so maybe we can get that email the first week in april um and then i'll be out of town for our next scheduled meeting which is going to be i think june is it always the third tuesday or the second yeah. tuesday of the month it's the third, um, I, third tuesday third tuesday i will be oh, out june, yeah june 12th through the 25th 24th um so are we willing to do this on I, I think it's been suggested we can do it on June 4th Does personally that, that, work would work for for, that would work better for me personally it would work okay. better for me too I'm going to be going out of town on 24th so a lot of things to get ready for works for me um, let's meet June 4th and we'll just continue to do it on Zoom since we're a small commission mm -hmm. and um, it's important to get all, all four of us together so we have a quorum. Um, so we'll just continue to do that on Zoom. At some point, it would be nice to have us all meet at in person and um, meet on the campus there and just kind of walk through. But um, for now, let's just plan on meeting on June 4th. And um, we'll just do a 7 p.m. again on June 4th. But does it work for Barb? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, Barb had suggested June 4th Same. to me by email. So. <laughs> okay. I was like, who's yeah. taking the minutes? <laughs> you, you remember the time when I can't, had to go down to EMS? I think that's why you know Noah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, is that the whole thing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I think that's all we had. Does anybody have anything else for our commission? 
No, we're all good. Well, I do appreciate um, everybody's attendance just to keep things moving. Um, the four of us at least allow this commission to continue and lets TNAC do their work. So um, while we have very short meetings, they are important just to keep the everything moving. So I think we're adjourned or I'll, I'll take a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. <laughs> And second. do we have a second? All right. So we right. are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Good you, night. everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>